Hey guys, it's me Subpanel1 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ozzy on Ubuntu 17.10. So the first thing that you should do is navigate to your web browser of choice and type in ozzyu.ppy.sh in the search bar. Then click download Ozzy. Then after clicking install Ozzy, you need to get the Ozzy executable file. I already have this, but if you need to download it, then you should download it. So I've got mine in my downloads directory, put yours wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. So the next thing that you want to do is navigate to winehq.org. This is where you get wine, which is a Windows Windows wrapper kind of for Linux. So then you need to open up a terminal and copy and paste these commands into a terminal should only take about two minutes to copy them all in. I've already got all of these. And then down here, after you've done the ones for your distribution, so you should do that, do this bit if you're on Ubuntu, and then do that. Don't need these. And then after you've got these, I recommend you get the staging branch, because staging branch has higher performance, because it has staging features in it, and then you should go on here and type that in. I've already got one HQ staging and it's probably the best one that you can get to get Aussie working. So after you've got the Wine HQ staging installed, then you need to install Play on Linux. You can just do it through the command, I already have Play on Linux installed, but if you don't then I recommend that you do sudo apt install Play on Linux. All the commands will be down in the description below. So, after you've got Play on Linux, Wine, and the Ozu installer, navigate to your applications and open up Play on Linux. And then, once you're on this screen, click install. Click install an unlisted program. Ozu is listed, but it doesn't, the, the version isn't the latest version, and this is how you do it. So, install a new program, put a name, I just put in Ozu, and then install some libraries. 32 bit window installation, it's just. I haven't tested it on 64 bit, you can try and get it working on 64 bit, I don't know if it works, but it definitely works with 32 bit. So, Wine will create a configuration which will be used to get it working probably take a little while so make a cup of tea get yourself get yourself relaxed ready to play some Ozu. So after the virtual drive has been created we can download and install some some packages. So you need install.net 4.0. Oh, I don't know if it works with 4.5 I haven't checked it with 4.5 but all you need to do is get 4.0 the next it might take a while for it to load but once it does load it'll install the .NET framework which is what Ozu has used so after .NET framework has been installed it'll ask you to select the setup file so all you have to do is browse downloads that's where I put it and click on the Ozu exe and click next and then it'll start installing your application Ozu will pop up if you change the location, I recommend that you click on virtual drives, Ozu, drive C, and then program files, not program files, yeah program files, and create a new folder and call it Ozu. This will make it so that it doesn't install in your downloads folder, which would be pretty terrible. I've had it install in my downloads folder before and it, well, sometimes it comes up with this error message, just ignore that, because it never actually does anything, it installs anyway. I think it's because it the Ozu updater is loaded instead of the Ozu install.exe. Getting it working. And then it'll just come up.
exit out, click cancel there. And then click configure. Which one is, it? is this one? Yeah. Make a new shortcut. Click ozu.exe. Choose a shortcut name. Click I don't want to make another shortcut. And then navigate over to Wine. This is where we can start getting the performance features. It may take a while, but this will pop up. Change Windows version to Windows 7, just for compatibility reasons. Then go to Staging. Enable CMST for better performance. I'd say enable these as well. If they don't work for you, then you can just disable them. And then, in order to get the shortcut looking right, you can set an icon. And what I do is I go on here, go on google.com, go on images, and just type in Aussie logo. Get this one because it looks nice. Save it, save it anywhere in downloads. And then navigate to your downloads and get the Aussie logo. There is one on the desktop. What you can do is click that, then click the Aussie logo there as well. Then you've got Ozu there. One small thing that I'm going to show you as well is now that we've basically got Ozu installed, is how to install skins and beatmaps. So what you do is you can go on Reddit. I like using Reddit to get my Ozu skins because I use this near one, get it on Dropbox, wait for it to download, I think I might already have it downloaded actually, yeah I already have it downloaded. What you can do is, you can get the file, which is your .osk, and drag it onto the Aussie logo. This works without having to set up anything, I think it works, it should work. And then Ozu should pop up and come up with it installing the 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 beat map, not the beat map, the uh, skins. Go down here, current skin. Yeah, it's got my skin. So if I go and play solo, then it'll have my skin. So after that, you can also go on beatmaps, go on ranked or something. Click on a, click on a song, and hey up. Oh yeah, have to log in first. Just log in quickly. Then click download, save it. Open it up. Oh, it's just there. And then just copy it over. Then I'll do what I did last time. I'll open up the client and it'll install the beatmap that you need. So that's how you install skins, beatmaps. That's how you install Ozu itself. And that's pretty much it. You can also get performance features. Everything works that I've tried. All the game modes work, it should just work out of the box. So, I've been Subpanel101 and I'll see you in the next video.